Department of Justice says the city really needs to agree to a judicial oversight plan for dealing with the city's water system. But in that legal warning sent to the city, it did go on to raise serious questions about public safety. The EPA confirmed it is doing an investigation right now, not only into water quality, but what caused the system to break down. The water quality tests approved by the state health department allowed the boil water notices to be lifted. But those approvals were made with a cloud now lying over the city's water system, raised by the legal warning sent to the city by the Department of Justice. The letter indicates things that have gone out for some time now. Uh, it, it is a form letter. It is a, a uh, it is within, not a form letter, but it is consistent with form letters that have gone out. Uh, it indicates nothing new. Than, than what has already been communicated to our residents. Some city council members have questions about the city's water crisis now. We have not learned of some of the situations until recently. Uh, even the letter of the DOJ, I had to find out through a third party source. The Department of Justice sent the city a legal warning Monday that seemed nothing like a form letter. It told the city to either start negotiations on a judicially enforceable agreement to fix the water system or face a lawsuit. It says, the United States believes that an imminent and substantial endangerment to human health exists. The warning cites at least six violations of the Safe Drinking Water Act. It goes on to say that the Justice Department believes that contaminants are in or likely to enter the city's public water system. The EPA's Inspector General's Office confirms it is conducting an inquiry into the water crisis. The EPA Administrator addressed that Monday. We've done testing to ensure that the boil water notice could be lifted and that the, the water is safe. Uh, we also are gonna pursue lead testing as well. We wanna test to be sure that the water is safe. State lawmakers are divided in some cases whether the state should return control of the water treatment plant to the city. These are errors of, of lack of training, a lack of certification, a lack of things, but these are things that did not have to happen recently to make the system fail. I think the can has been kicked down the road long enough. We need a long-term solution to this problem. Well, the mayor says the city is actively looking for that third party operator for the water treatment facilities. I also reached out to the health department today since the EPA raised questions about water quality, but I was told by a health department spokesperson that no one was available for an interview today, but that is the subject of at least two class action lawsuits now filed against the city, raising serious questions about water quality. Live at Jackson City Hall, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.